94.7 WMAS. It's the Kellogg Crew with Chris Kellogg, Dina, and Lopez. And my friend Colleen Loveless is here from Rebuilding Together Springfield. Good to have you here, Colleen. Hello, Chris. Good to see you again this year. Man, it was fun last year. I mean, so many people working on so many houses. Uh, First of all, tell us what Rebuilding Together is. Sure. We are uh, the nation's leading nonprofit working to preserve, repair, and modify homes for low-income families with children, military veterans, the elderly, and people with disabilities. So last year you did one neighborhood, now you're doing another neighborhood this year, uh, coming up on April 26th. Uh, what neighborhood is it? It's still in Old Hill. We just announced a 10-year strategic plan. Uh-huh. We're going to work on 10 contiguous blocks over a 10-year period in the Old Hill neighborhood. Last year we were on Tyler Street. This year we're on Pendleton Avenue. We're going to have over 1,000 volunteers that day doing everything from replacing windows and roofs to landscaping to yeah. converting homes from oil heat to natural gas. It reminds <laughs> me of seeing one of these homes that was built around here in the uh, extreme makeover. Yes, it's kind of uh, yeah. One day, one day, we they did it in a week. We only do it in a day. <laughs> I know there's like 50 people on the roof, uh, 50 people doing the art. I mean, it's really great to see all these people come together. And Fran Bullu is here. Good morning. Good morning, Chris. How now, tell you? us about. Of course, you've got a, a home improvement company, and you're I on do. the board of directors, right? I, I am. I, it's just a great cause. Um, if anybody uh, ever can, you know, contemplates they need something to volunteer, or they're looking around. This is a great cause. Great day. Um, you can go online and you can find us and register. It's just a great time. And if you'd like to donate, too, of course, that's always a, a positive thing. It's always a good thing. And so many companies involved like yours, Fran. And Absolutely. Even if you don't know anything about construction, you could still carry stuff. You could still help we're, out we're with We're going to have plenty for you to do. Absolutely. There's <laughs> yard cleanup. There's all kinds of things. There's painting, fences. Uh, the whole block's going to look tremendous. And, Colleen, earlier this year, you guys won a free truck. Yeah, from Leah Toyota. Yeah. 100 cars for good. So that's really going to help us out that day because we're going to be transporting our supplies back and forth. And there's a lot of supplies, believe me, for these projects. 25 right. homes, one block, 1,000 volunteers we have. This year we're going to have, I think, close to 90 sponsors, which wow. is, last year we had 70. So it's really tremendous. So It's just amazing how many people show up to and doing so many different jobs. Uh, painting. There'll be three guys painting a house. And yep. it's just amazing how quick it gets done. And that's the that's the whole goal is to complete everything on that street in one day. Uh, obviously, some of the work not does need to be prepared and there's right. a little bit of a punch list afterwards but i'd say about 90 percent of the work gets done that day so it's a really good feeling it's a fun day uh we're gonna have a block party at the end of the day with some live music to really thank the volunteers but you know we're looking for, still for donations yeah. financial donations for in-kind material building material donations we're still looking for skilled and unskilled volunteers so we're happy to have anybody they can go to our website at rebuilding together springfield.org and they can sign up and give us a call let us know what they're able to do that's awesome Thank you so much, and thanks to one of the businesses, Board of Director, Fran Bullio. It's great to have you here. Thank you, Chris. Thanks for having us. We appreciate it.